Can we go? Go for it. Well, then welcome. Welcome you, welcome everybody to the book launch of The Spiral of Superpowers. I'm here with Peter and with Ligia, uh, the authors of the book. So welcome. My name is Arthur Pop. I'm also working in Intermotivation and we know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have some other people in the room. They will also be, well, be being in front of the camera. So let me at least give them a little shout out. We have Rachel International. <laughs> Uh, we have a whole video team that's supporting us with uh, Peter and with Anna. Hey. And last but not least, we have some uh, reviewers that are in the room and they will be sharing their uh, honest uh, opinion about the book later on. So, welcome! <laughs> um, before I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today, um, I will uh, ask you to send any questions you might have in the Instagram uh, live, we will try to answer all of them at the end of uh, the video. Um, but any other way is also possible because Peter is sitting 24-7 uh, a day behind the email. He loves receiving <laughs> emails with all your questions, so by all means do that. Uh, what are we going to do today? Uh, we are going to, uh, well, like I said, we have Rachel, a comedian, and a well-known comedian here in Holland, uh, to perform for you live here. That's what the first thing I'm going to do. Um, then we're going to uh, have a, a small interview with Peter and Alicia about the book, mm -hmm. I'm very curious about. Um, Alex Blackwood sadly couldn't make it today uh, uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, but we all understand it obviously. And then later on we're going to ask the reviewers to give their honest but fair opinion about the book. Um, that's what we're going to do today. By all means, again, keep asking questions, we love that, and then we'll see what's uh, coming in at the end of uh, this video. But first let me introduce you to Rachel, she's going to take my place as you're going to do a live uh, comedy show. It's connected to one of the superpowers, to laughter, and you can read all about it in a book, but first, Rachel, you have the floor. Hey. 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 It's good to be here, this is really good. We need to get some kind of uh, bit of an audience. <laughs> now we're going into a second, second lockdown. So, yeah. did you enjoy the first lockdown? Oh, I talked to him. We were both. That's what we did. See, this is the kind of people I don't like, right? Because <laughs> there's all these people that went into lockdown and they were like, oh, I've got all this time on my hands. I'm going to do all this stuff with all this time on my hands. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to set up a business. <laughs> I'm going to sort my house out. And I was the same. I was exactly the same. I was like, okay, I'm going to use all this time to get all the shit done at home that I haven't had a chance to do. Mm. And it turns out time is not the problem. <laughs> so I'm really fucking lazy. <laughs> that is the problem. And I got to the point in lockdown, I just thought, you know what? It's a big achievement for me if I manage to have a day where I get a pair of jeans on and brush my hair in the same day. That was it. I just had to low. I, I realised coming out of lockdown that I needed to be realistic about my goals. So, um, because I was, I, all this stuff I just never got done around the house. So I decided, okay, I'm going to be realistic. My goals are to come out of lockdown a few kilos heavier. <laughs> with long grey roots and an alcohol problem <laughs> and quite frankly so far so good uh, I'm doing really well um, I took up drinking as um, my hobby in lockdown well I, I was doing that beforehand but um, I, I did it a bit more I was doing it better in lockdown um, cause, and especially now because all the pubs are closed and um, I got to the point where I was getting really embarrassed I don't know if you've ever had this right Going, going to the bottle bank because I just felt like my neighbours were judging me as I was carrying these really heavy bags of, <laughs> of wine bottles to the bottle bank. And I was like, okay, do I tell them I've had a party and risking a fine for social distancing? Or so I just admit I've drunk it myself. And I was going to the bottle bank and I was sort of like there and felt like people judging me as I was putting all these wine bottles in. And I don't know if you ever do this, it's like firing the wine bottles <laughs> And then, and then there's this one jam jar, there's one jam jar in the bag, and I'm like, this goes in in slow motion. <laughs> it's like, the chef jam jars. It's all jam jars. Um, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so that's the thing, I mean, and I, I really learned to deal with disappointment in lockdown. I think I've, I've become really good at disappointment. Um, so, like, I would look into my social calendar and it was just like empty and I was just like really disappointed 
Look at my wine rack, empty, disappointed. <laughs> Look at my big, comfortable double bed. And my husband is still there. Disappointed. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, but this is one thing I think you need to say, right? Be careful what you wish for. I, I love your book. I've read your book. And in it, you it really comes across how powerful the mind is, right? Yeah. And <laughs> the thing is, be careful what you wish for, because genuinely my New Year's resolution was to spend more time at home with my family. <laughs> 24 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I you love my family. No, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I love my family, but I meant like having more lunches yeah. with my husband or, you know, spending a little bit more time with him. Not like looking across and realising he's my colleague now. <laughs> it's like we're sharing the same office space. Or like spending time with my kids. Like, I really wanted to spend more time with my kids, but I, I kind of meant maybe, you know, play a board game with them every now and then, spend a bit more time. Not become their teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. Um, yeah, um, I don't know how this second lockdown is going to turn out, but uh, yeah, learning to deal with disappointment, I think, uh, has been one of the biggest, uh, the biggest things for me. Um, you need superpowers. For that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> superpowers. Oh, the other thing I want to talk about is I'm British. Okay, so we didn't know this. No. You didn't know. You can tell. You know, you know me, and I think everyone can tell from my accent, right? So I'm British. And I used to have a really cool thing to tell people I was British. So I used to, you know, say to people, oh, I'm, I'm British, and they'd go, oh, nice, where are you from? You know, where, I've been to Britain, uh, uh, you know, where, where are you from? Uh, you know, tell, tell me a bit about your country, or they'd tell me about where they, their last trip to Britain. And we used to have really interesting conversations. Now, I tell people I'm British, and they just look at me with this kind of pity, like... <laughs> <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone wants to know if I can stay. <laughs> That's the thing, all of a sudden everyone becomes an immigration officer. They're like, are you allowed to stay? Are you allowed to stay in the Netherlands? What, what, what does Brexit mean for you? I'm bored of it. I want to just talk about the weather. But people just want to talk about Brexit the whole time, right? There's like, there's no other interesting topic of conversation now. I tell people I'm British. So I, what I want to do is blend a bit more into Dutch society and become a bit more Dutch, yeah? So I kind of um, doing a lot of things to become more Dutch. Mm. And I know we've probably got a lot of people watching that are Dutch, so hopefully you we can... We have three in the room. Three. Oh, a few in the room. We've got the Dutch people over here. Four. Okay. Four. 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 Okay, I'm going to tell you, you what we're doing to become... You can insult all of them. Well, no, because I'm making real efforts now. Um, to become more Dutch. I mean, for a start, I've learned Dutch, yeah, right? I do speak Dutch. Um, I would say, it's not a sexy language, is it? <laughs> it's really not a sexy language. I used to live in France, right? I used to live in France, you know, they called me in France. Pleasure. <laughs> do you know what they started calling me when I first moved to the Netherlands? Rachel. <laughs> I thought I was being insulted, they were calling my name. Rachel. Oh. It's like Rachel or Rachel. <laughs> and um, I, I love it, you, like even Dutch people can't make sexy underwear sound sexy. <laughs> like in French it's lingerie, yeah? No, so, that's nice, eh? lingerie. 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 And you've got your underhoods. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you go, like in France, you can buy your lingerie from Le Coco de Mer, a Chantal, a Jean Provocateur. And in the Netherlands, where'd you go? The Hunkermüller. <laughs> Hunkermüller. <laughs> Sounds like a German hardware store. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> no, I like it's a good language. It's a good language for clearing your throat. You know, it's good for that. It's good for that. I like it. Uh, I've also been eating a lot of sandwiches. I think if you're going to really integrate the eating of sandwiches, not just for lunch but also for breakfast, oh, yeah. Dutch people cannot get enough of the sandwich. It's like there's nothing else to eat. It's the national. It's the national. The national food. There's nothing. Else. Oh, bits of bala, of course. Bits of bala. That, if you want a special treat, you put a bit of bala in a sandwich, like a croquette thing, and that's like super special. No, but and, and what I love is the name. The name of the sandwich right, is the butter ham. The butter ham, right? And even if there's no butter, there's no ham. It's <laughs> <laughs> still a butter ham. It's like, I'll give, you, I'll give you a glass of ice this year, and I'll go, there's no gin and there's no tonic, but we'll call this a gin and tonic. <laughs> 
Yeah, they love their boat home with their Hagel Slag. Yeah. And um, cycling. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously, that's not particularly impressive in itself. Um, but Dutch people are really good at cycling with all sorts of yeah. stuff, right? Like, you know, like sofas and <laughs> suitcases. So, like, I've got this, I've got this goal now um, to cycle with a full-size ladder and a child on the back of my bike. <laughs> <laughs> not sitting, not sitting, standing, standing. holding onto my shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The then I'll feel really properly integrated. <laughs> um, but the one thing I've really done to make me feel super integrated, I'll tell you this, is um, I've got myself a birthday calendar in the downstairs toilet, which I think is a legal requirement, right? For Dutch yeah. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah? All down, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. all of you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All Dutch people yes. have in a the birthday toilet. calendar in the downstairs thing. toilet. I love it. Yeah. I love it. No, it's really good. So they're really good at remembering your birthday, but you know, you get a WhatsApp message from someone to say happy birthday. And you know they're having a shit. <laughs> <laughs> because that's when they remembered your birthday. <laughs> and then this is what I mean to say. <laughs> Just remember when a Dutch person says happy birthday this year, you know what they're doing. You know, you know what they're doing. <laughs> They like they like to make their money go far, so they don't buy a new calendar every year, right? So you have this generic calendar with no year on it, and you flip it over uh, year yeah. after year after year, right? Because you like to be yeah. right? But if somebody dies, even then they won't buy that. They won't. They don't buy a new calendar. You don't. Do, they don't. If somebody dies, you put a cross. Oh, oh my God! I love it. This is true. This is so true. <laughs> And if you go to like if you go to your grandma's house or something, you can just sit and read the calendar and see all the people that have died. Why are you having a You're amused while you're on the toilet. See who's died. Oh god. And you're you're not you're not Dutch. Are you dating a Dutch person? Yes. You're dating a Dutch person. I've got a top tip for you, right? You're dating a Dutch person. Give it to me. Dating a Dutch person, you go into their parents' downstairs toilet and you just have a look to see if your birthday is written on the calendar yeah. in pen or in pencil. Yes, that's true. <laughs> they just give you an indication of how long they think your relationship is going to last. I need to I check. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a tip. Oh, my God. Like, oh, Hello, Mom, Dad. <laughs> Put it in the pen. Put it in the pen. Please, yeah. I'm going to check it. It'll be fast. Yeah, exactly. Make sure it's on there. Yes. Um, now, finally, I'm going to I'm going to share one more thing which I love about the Netherlands, and um, that's the Sinterklaas. I realise that if I'm going to properly, properly become Dutch, you've got to embrace the Sinterklaas thing. I'm not going to talk about Schrute Peak. I'm just going to talk about the phenomenon yeah. that is Sinterklaas because I grew up with Father Christmas, right? Mm. Who is in my eyes quite magical and and he you know he comes to deliver presents on a sleigh which is pulled by flying reindeer which i think is fairly plausible um because if you've got to deliver a lot of presents yeah you, you want something quick and fast and magical right yes. and i love the way the sinterklaas he comes here by boat <laughs> from madrid <laughs> Just 500 kilometers from the coast. <laughs> and it's not just any old boat. I mean, I've checked this. I mean, if you look on Google Google Maps, right, you look at the best way to get here from Madrid. Ne no. Boat is oh, never yeah. recommended. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a recommended option. Um, no, it's not any old boat. It's a steamboat, which is brilliant. <laughs> Steamboats travel at three kilometers an hour. <laughs> I've done the calculations. It would take him 28 days to get here. It's quicker to walk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so, so what I love is, is I, I didn't realize, because I'm, I'm British, my husband's British, I grew up in Britain. Um, so I tried to get with it when my kids were little. I thought, okay, 5th of December, I need to get some presents ready, right? So I had the presents ready for 5th of December. I felt quite organized. And I thought he comes 5th of December, buggers off, that's it. No, he comes to the Netherlands three weeks before. 
And it just lingers. <laughs> it just lingers. <laughs> and one day, my children, they came, they came home from school and they put their shoes by the front door and they started singing to their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> friends they're like no you need to put a present they're expecting a gift in that shoe tomorrow morning and it's like it's it, this time all the shops are closed so i'm hunting around the house looking for something small enough to fit in a tiny shoe turns out cannabis lollies not typical dutch not typical sinterklaas not really not typical sinterklaas so i be honest i was quite pleased when my kids grew up um and they got older and i thought okay i don't have to do this whole charade anymore i hope there's no there's no one no, I still believe. I still believe. Yeah. Um, okay, but I, I just thought, okay, that they're old, they're older now, I don't have to do it. And um, then they started doing Lotus Trekker at school, right? Now, we don't want Lotus, do you know what Lotus Trekker is? Yeah. It's like a secret Santa, okay? <laughs> Pull the name out the hat, right? And you have to get a present from one of your classmates. And your classmate has written a wish list, right? Um, of a load of stuff they want. And you've got to go find something for five euros from the wish list of stuff which all costs like between 30 and 50 euros <laughs> so you're running around running around the shops trying to find everything and i was and i helped my son i was really relieved because we finally found something i'm like oh thank god we found something let's wrap it up and and take it to school she's like no 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 you can't just wrap it no no no. you have to wrap it in a really special way you have to make a surprise uh, exactly like this massive like surprise big thing yeah, in the end, the, the actual wrapping is more impressive <laughs> and more expensive than the present that's inside. Yeah. It's just like, and it's the ultimate homework for parents, yes. isn't it? Yes. You're there covered in glue and glitter and <laughs> paper, and I'm like, oh, okay, finally, we did it. We made it look into, I don't know, a football field or something like that. It's like, okay, finally, we're done. Take it to school. We're done. And then he went, no, you have to write a poem. And you have to <laughs> like a poem. I'll help you. In Dutch, I'm like, I don't know anything that rhymes with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has been fun. Thank you. I think it's my time. Right? <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you, Rachel. The power of love. Oh, dear. It was quite confrontational. I caught myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I caught myself thinking early on, oh, like, okay, just before this uh, whole event started, I thought, okay, tomorrow morning I have a webinar. I can reuse this shirt. It will be smelly, but people don't smell it anyway. I can wear it tomorrow again. That's like COVID times for you. Just, just, just wearing clothes again. <laughs> Nobody will. Repeat. And no pants properly. Repeat. Repeat. Oh my God. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, well, we have to talk about your book. Oh, a little well, bit. Well, we don't have to, but you know. No, we're well, we were here. We're bored. Let's talk about the book. Exactly. No, I'm very curious. Obviously, I read it. Uh, thank you very much for uh, sending it to me. Um, why did you write it? Okay. So, uh, well, actually, last year we wanted to have a big event for our company, and um, and also an event that had some meaning, let's say, for us. So we, we thought of planning a theater event mm -hmm. um, this last September, where we would have a very entertaining, informative uh, evening with uh, speakers, comedian, mentalists, so all kinds of, let's say, uh, different interesting um, things. Mm -hmm. Plus, we would sponsor War Child, because War Child is an organization that is very dear to us, uh, that is close to the values of uh, our company, and. Uh, yeah, and, and, and we wanted to give, let's say, uh, something special, which we do already, but uh, through this event. Then COVID came, uh, so we had to uh, postpone the event. So uh, next year, 2021, we are going to Tushinsky Theater. Uh, with superpowers. With superpowers, super because the theme so. was superpowers. And um, even if there will be COVID, we're going there anyway, because we'll <laughs> stream it live and... So you can be there either physical with mouth masks and protection and whatever, or you can uh, uh, watch it, uh, let's say, uh, oh. online. But maybe maybe we're in a better situation then. So that was a the theme, super, yeah. superpowers. 
And, uh, and, and basically, when uh, Kobe came, we, we thought, okay, we, want, we already wanted to write a book for a long time mm. uh, because we've been working with so many different things like NLP, but not only NLP, with, with breath, with uh, uh, health and well being, and all kinds of different things. That, yeah, this was a very uh, logical, well, I can almost say, <laughs> a next logical step, let's say. Yeah. So um, that's, that's why we wrote it. What, what have they anything to add from this? Or? Yeah, I, I think also this, um, I think for us is also, and I think when we do whatever we do, mm -hmm. we also um, want to show um, and give the experience that everyone can do it. Mm. Uh, so sometimes it looks like magic, but it, it, it is, it's not, right? Uh, or in a way it is, but everyone can do that magic. So um, for us, it's also very important that uh, people get in touch uh, with um, themselves in a way that they can really be uh, superheroes yeah. for themselves. So it's these two things together, I think, made the book. Yeah. 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 And have you wrote it with a special group in mind or a special audience that you want to reach with it? Well, I would say anyone that yeah. would like to develop themselves uh, and and become more aware of it, and then uh, because it's not only about the it's it's really about the power of the mind and the body. Mm -hmm. So yeah. those two uh, combined, and we also wanted to write a book that is not so much uh, only a book like okay, he, he, here is what you need to do, uh, because there are so many other books from that already. We really wanted to bring it to a level of. Our pers ourselves personally so that's why let's say the frame is yes we have some things in there that are uh, let's say our gurus our people that we we uh, really mm -hmm. admire for what they do uh, but also we want to have some personal stories in there and I think that's basically what uh, what is the core of this book it's also to show that even yeah, us as, as coaches and trainers we we've had our journey yeah. of ups and downs in mind and body ourselves mm -hmm. Uh, in the development, so uh, so that's basically let's say the, uh, uh, the yeah. I think I think the um, because it's a book of with stories or mm -hmm. stories. I think can be re read by read yeah. read right. uh, by anyone. Uh, maybe some stories, of course, will touch mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> different ways uh, each person. But even uh, yeah, for 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 a child, some some of the stories can even be. Um, uh, for for children, as uh, for for instance, today I heard someone saying <coughs> and sharing that uh, uh, their one of the kids is is uh, how do you say when people are g -g 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 stuttering? That um, so and I, and I, I was sharing with, with her that I I had that when I was a child. So imagine if that child could hear a story of someone that had exactly the same thing, and mm. now. Her job is to talk huh? uh, with, with a lot of people. So that is the type of stories that is also there. Yeah. So uh, not a specific group, more someone that has the intention of getting a little bit more in touch yeah. with themselves and how to use um, different superpowers for themselves. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I read it myself as well. Yeah. It was one of the stories stick with me. Yeah. It, was, it was the first uh, one about breath. Yeah. And it just it just hit me, even yeah. without me knowing it. I know you a little bit, obvious, obviously, but still, it was very personal to me and yeah. really just uh, kept lingering in my mind, so to say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, th I think the, this book launch is also a start of a lot of activities for next year uh, connected to superpowers, not only the theater event. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, can, I, can I say yeah, something? Go. The, <laughs> I think um, not only for Ink Motivation as a company, as us work, but I think also um, for uh, personal and, and for me and for Peter, if I can speak. Um, I think we are much more in touch with uh, this, what I will call embodiment. So um, for us is really a thing, if let's say, that we stop this the, the division between mind and body. Um, and we really see ourselves as a whole and a system. So as individuals, we are really uh, also amplifying that for ourselves, but also, of course, spreading a little bit in, in different trainings and in different uh, workshops. And yeah. yeah, and obviously <coughs> uh, one big event that we're connecting this to is in September next year, 
uh, but we also enjoyed this so much that we decided to have let's say smaller events mm -hmm. related to superpowers so next year we will be having day uh, events where people can experience the 12 superpowers um, from uh, breath until uh, healthy food until let's say uh, the power of re reframing imagination so all these topics that, that are in there we'll combine it into a, a day and i think it's also a nice opportunity for people who would like to get to know us and what we do in our work is to join us in, uh, in, in this day. But also to have the experience, yeah. because um, particularly with, for instance, with breath, um, I work a lot with that, and most part of the people, uh, they, they don't know how to breathe. They just breathe, right? Um, and, and they sometimes get really surprised by the impact of changing a simple thing in your breath. So that is also uh, the opportunity to have that experience yeah. how to amplify each one of the superpowers. Yeah. 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 Uh, if my personal experience, if I may say so, I, I just uh, finished the training also for uh, in, into motivation. I can feel it really be your mission to connect the body and the mind yeah. and uh, uh, everything in between yeah. uh, and give that to people as an exercise, yeah. as an, as an uh, experience, I mean. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really uh, powerful and yeah. really essential. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? I'm, I'm getting curious about what, what our what reviewers are going to say. Uh, <laughs> to say. But do you want to yeah. share anything else about the book for the audience? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think um, first I want to, of course, say uh, thank you um, to Peter because he was the one having the idea. He was the one creating the, the movement um, to, to write the book and also um, to for giving the opportunity uh, for me to also share uh, a pleasure that I have, that is the, the photos. Um, and and, and the, the, the book is, is this big metaphor, right? So you have the stories and then you have the photos that they can be related or not. That depends on the person that is going to see them. Um, but also, what I, what I find really amazing is, is again the idea that everyone has already the superpowers. So, um, you also have a place in the book, and I would like to really get these stories where each person can write uh, their mm. own story right. when they use the superpowers. So I will be like thrilled if <laughs> I can receive um, stories uh, that you have with the, with the superpowers. I, I, I really uh, would like to, to have that from you. Yeah, I'll take this an open <laughs> request. Please send them to Olivia. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can only add that I'm also grateful that we, uh, we, we finalized the project because it's been a, a dream for a long time to, uh, mm. to, to do this. And uh, it's, it's, it's one of these things that you want to do it and then uh, it gets Everything postponed and, and we, we were very uh, busy and, 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 and uh, luckily COVID came. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Luck, yeah. Luckily, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We had time. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and, and just well, like you would thank me, I would like to thank everyone that, that really uh, participated to this uh, to this book. Uh, so uh, Richard for editing, uh, you for the photos, and then we have all these lovely yeah. reviewers uh, uh, here. Uh, and Felipe from Portugal who made a great job in the cover, and Edwin who who's done a, a great job in, in putting yeah. everything together. We, even this morning, all these people this had. morning we were still <laughs> working on the, the things for Amazon and, 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 and Kindle and so on. So, uh, but yeah, so it's really... Uh, uh, I think it's a, a community book. Yeah, we created a small community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was your dream, creating a community. Yes, yes. Well, yes, it was really are. nice. And there we are. Yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you both. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna ask one of the reviewers. Yeah. How was it? How was to read the book? Yeah, I have to say, so in, when, when I got the request, I was, I was a bit skeptical. So I was, I was you know, what, That's how we know you. what the hell is a superpower <laughs> thing? What is you know, these, these guys do NLP, so what's what superpower really all about? But actually, during the, during the read, it was really, um, really touching to, to, to be able to, to get to share the, the, yeah. the, the stories. Uh, and I actually caught myself a few times smiling and was a bit, bit emotional about some yeah. of the examples. Uh, and I think, I think what, what was already mentioned is that it's actually a very, uh, a very tangible thing that, mm. that even I could do or, or somebody else could do and, yeah. and not per se, uh, let's say, the, the gurus that were mentioned. Yes. Uh, so it was, yeah, it was nice. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and do you have a, a story that, like Arthur said, that uh, stayed in your mind? 
Yeah, so the so I won't I won't spoil the um, <laughs> the story because that, that that might ruin the, the reading experience. But yeah. it was actually a story about um, um, where you would dress something from a lady who was supposed to finish something for her children, mm. uh, which which really touched me, and that's that's also how I know you. So I could sort mm. of very visualize the the moment. Uh, but that was yeah, that, that was uh, that was a touching story for me. So. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, you have a little one, uh, right? Uh, yeah. So. Are you using any of this stuff uh, at home? At home, uh, in, uh, <laughs> well, your, your baby is sleeping very uh, well. Yeah. Right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he's doing hypnosis. With yeah. Them. Yeah. Well, there's uh, something very close to that. Yeah, there's, uh <laughs> <laughs> right, well, there's one one chapter about resting. So mm -hmm. for sure, uh, your kid already has uh, has that covered. Yeah, she she's got that covered. So so for me, it's, uh, it's the breathing uh, the breathing part. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely smile. something I uh, I, I, I can relate to. Yeah. 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 And she has a beautiful smile as well. So. Yeah, 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 for me. <laughs> of course. She's not. I am so. <laughs> 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 so Angel's not watching. No, 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 don't, don't. Um, so yeah, I, we want to say thank you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your uh, reviewing, and particularly uh, because uh, yeah, you really made an effort to be, let's say, a critical uh, one, and, uh, and we really appreciate it. I believe even when. Uh, uh, when uh, when it was reviewed, you came up with uh, something more, saying, "Oh, I forgot uh, to say I forgot something." Forgot to say something. And, uh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So thank you nice. so much for that. Uh, uh, thank I you for the opportunity. I think the feedback was important uh, because I I think from coming from you that you, I know you as being very practical and uh, far away from where I come from. Um, I, I think <laughs> uh, I think it's it's very important to to have someone that I I normally call this type of. A feedback the, the the landing you know like okay put your feet on the ground and talk to people uh, that yeah are with the feet on the ground so I think at least for me and I think for all for the two of us was really important to have someone that okay now go to the practical and uh, and show me how to do that so thank you for that You're welcome thank you thank you awesome thank you oh. 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 this is from Luke and I oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> full, full. I tried to take a sip. <laughs> Every single day, do something that makes your heart sing. Oh, nice. People remember that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. You're welcome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, how how have you experienced the uh, um, let's say the book when you were reading yeah. it and reviewing it and. Uh, so when I was first reading it, it was a different structure than what I was used to with reading a book. So mm -hmm. it took um, reading through it to understand the whole concept and then um, starting to, to dive deeper into to each element of it. And I think when I, I got the draft, it was still, there was still some fragmentation with it, but then I think you did really well with incorporating the feedback that you got from mm -hmm. everyone and now it's become really fluid and it's framed incredibly mm -hmm. and I think that that made my experience reading the final mm -hmm. version very enjoyable um, and that's I think something that, that this book like really emphasizes is your talent to be able to structure and provide tools and allow for experiences to happen and to not impose, but to really create an open space by offering structure and tooling that people can use to get what they want. Mm -hmm. And that is just very clear in, in how you framed and presented this book. Mm -hmm. um, I especially liked how there are different approaches that you took. Mm -hmm. So with in, indeed including all of the stories, which makes it very personal, mm -hmm. and it offers a sense of vulnerability from both of your perspective, and then having also leaders of people who you follow and who mm -hmm. you look up to for each superpower yeah. um, to really give a, a bit of dynamic with that. And then the quotes and the practical exercises and then indeed with giving the opportunity to share the own story. I think that's also a really powerful element that you put in later mm -hmm. um, was to allow people to participate in the yeah. book and to be a co-author in this way, yeah. right? Yeah. To yeah. That participate. Is, yeah, that yeah. was that is uh, exactly the thing is that I um, I think that um, 
every book should have a place to that you could share at least your experience with yeah. that book, right? Because even it, I, I'm pretty sure that if 10 people read the same story, they will read it in a different way. Yes. They will have a different impact, right? That's it. And, and it's really fun because with this book, you can you can open to a page or you can choose which yeah. superpower you want to go to at the time that you're at in your life or with the situation you're at. Yeah. And I remember reading it the first time and there were certain stories which really resonated with me and uh, helped me during that time. And then just reading again over on the train ride over here, then seeing that there's some another story that really uh, was relevant for where I'm mm -hmm. at right now. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a timeless book. I think mm -hmm. that you're able to just take it off the shelf and come to it and uh, you will find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. So there are also a lot of exercises in there, yes. or maybe we forgot to mention, but there are exercises yeah. in there. Um, yeah. Is there any particular exercise that you that you love without explaining the whole exercise? Because people can <laughs> find that. Or? Uh, well, I really enjoy the breathing exercises. So I really, yeah, over the past months have been very interested in breath. <laughs> mm. um, and yeah, these ones, it's not just that it's, um, yeah, it, it's something that I continue to practice. And yeah. that's what's nice is that it's not something that you just do once, but with the exercise you provide, it's something that you can sustainably do. Yeah. And I think that that's um, Yeah, that's breath, good. breath is a no ending uh, exactly. exploration, right? And it's, it's yeah. really nice because even if you do it uh, every day, you will find another another thing or another difference exactly. or, so it's, it's always really, there yeah it's really amazing <laughs> yeah. thank you Don <laughs> yeah. oh, good yeah, yeah. thank you and uh, yeah because uh, well you're going to help uh, us more right because uh, yeah. Yeah. it's going to be a surprise <laughs> Lucy's going to write a book about love and uh, you're going to uh, help with that so yeah, uh, we're that's going right. to be uh, connected in, uh, in more ways coming soon Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. So much. Is she watching or not? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <That's so laughs> this is my moment of fame. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So. 100,000 viewers, right? No, Everyone. just yeah, now. Yeah, just yeah. now. Yeah. Well, between 100,000 and a million. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice to be here. Yeah. 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 How was for you to read the book? Oh, wow. Um, first of all, I'm not a big reader or anything. I really like books, but I don't really like long books. Yeah. So for me, like a book is I start and then at one point I decide to stop and then maybe, yeah. I don't know, in a few months time I will pick it up again or maybe not. <laughs> so when you asked me to read the book, it was really uh, the moment for me that I was thinking, oh shit, I need to read the book. <laughs> <laughs> because I have to do it, right? Um, so I started and that's where the joy came in mm -hmm. because for me it was a really easy to read book mm -hmm. because I was like I'm going to a uh, really nice story it resonates with me I like the story I go back to my own stories mm -hmm. because of this story and I wanted to know a little bit more that's also why I really like the three stages because I wanted to know more so I, di I dove into uh, the more research based part that yeah. I really also like, but it wasn't really yeah. long or anything, it was just on point. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, now I want to do something, and that's where the exercise came in. And then I finished a, a chapter, and I was really like, oh, this is cool, <laughs> because it's going so easy. Mm -hmm. So to me, this book is really for everyone, and that's what I, what I liked about it. And also, I got curious, so you can also go to the end and see what superpower is there, and then go back to the middle and stuff. Yeah. So it's, it was really nice to read, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, yeah. I mean, uh, I recognize the, the the reading part. Let's say uh, in that, that I have some some trouble with that as well. So I'm happy that uh, <laughs> <laughs> someone also had yeah, the same yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I did. I didn't think about it that way. That you, you could go back and forth and put yeah, it down. And, yeah, in, in that sense, it's really uh, written that way. Yeah, nice. Any any anything that called called your attention? Because you went like the story and then mm -hmm. uh, to the to the uh, research and then to the exercise. Anything that called your attention as like, oh, this was um, because you also did some uh, 
uh, work with us, on training mm -hmm. with us, so anything that called your attention still, I think. Or maybe the quotes, because there was a quote. Quotes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think for me it was the, the exploring of the superpower mm. that it's so easy yeah because um, something what, what I had and what I experienced is that it can be really heavy a superpower the things that you already mm. own and yeah. it's really nice because it's about you actually the book about mm -hmm. yourself mm. yeah and with an easy exercise you can already start with uh, exploring the superpower and also put it into work and that's uh, what really caught my attention actually yeah. is that it's really easy to start with it. Yeah, because mm. I think I think the <clears throat> and um, we had in the in the NLP the last one someone saying, I know that I have superpowers, but I'm really scared of that. Mm. Mm. And and I think that is why sometimes people go a little bit away of the word superpowers because yeah, if I have the superpower, I also have the responsibility, mm -hmm. right? And um, I, I think um, this is the, the main thing is that we have the superpower and that, that, is, that is guaranteed. Like, it's, yeah. it's no way. The only question is, are you going to use it or not? Right? Because it's there. So you breathe. Otherwise, yeah, you will not be here. So um, the question is, how, you, how are you using that talent and that superpower for your own good? And, uh, and that is also what we wanted to show in this book is not this is not I really don't like the word the word work we need to work uh, when people say, oh, you need to work in, our in yourself I'm like I don't need to work in myself I just need to explore myself I just need to use myself in in a good way and I think <coughs> this book is is also at least our intentions to show that it's, it's not hard work yeah. it's far away of being work at all yeah, because also well. you yeah. probably already experienced that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, from a story that you have. Yeah. So, yeah. You can easily say, oh, already done it. So I already have story. that. Yeah. yeah, but you are not sometimes aware uh, that that can be a superpower yeah. if you are using it for your own good. Right. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's <laughs> <Nice work. Nice laughs> <work. laughs> I think one thing we still have to tackle is also one of the questions that's being asked is where can we buy the book? Oh, yeah. Yes. So you can buy the book on uh, Amazon. Uh, you can buy the, the, the ebook there and hopefully also the paperback. If not, from tomorrow on because we just entered it today. <laughs> on bold.com you can uh, 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 order it or you can go to our website, website. and you can also uh, yeah. order it. Awesome. Yeah. Already questions and answers. Or you can come by here uh, to our office. That saves you a shipping cost. Uh, and then and you just pick it up and we put an autograph for you. Do you get a duck? Or if your budget is lower, you go for the ebook, but that's also always cheaper, of course. Uh, yeah. And do you get a duck? Yeah, if we still have ducks, we, <laughs> we give yeah. ducks. A few. Yeah, we, we can give that. Yeah. Not real ducks. Not real no, dogs. No, 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 not real no, dogs. No, 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 like a grand uh, ancestor, right? No, 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 Very good. Uh, in the meantime, do we have any other, other questions, just to make sure? No. No. Anybody, anybody, anybody any questions? Oh, no, no, any questions? No questions. Oh my God. Maybe Fleur wants to know what they're going to eat tonight or something like that. Fleur, he's going to cook. He's going to cook. No questions. What specific superpower is your favorite and when do you choose to use it? Oh, oh good question. Who did that? And then you, who brought that question? You are good. Um, who was it? Oh. Who was that person? Doesn't matter. It was Luke. Oh, oh, Luke. Luke. Yeah. Yeah. Luke. Luke. <laughs> I was like, I know that kind of question. I know that question. You're like, mm. <laughs> Then look someone that I know. Exactly. We have a second question after that, but we okay. can. Uh... Oh, it's really. Oh my God, it's really difficult. I must confess. Uh, for me, um, to choose one that I I really like, uh, or that I. Um, She's buying time. I love <laughs> imagination. Why? Um, I should do that more. Even I mean, there are other uh, superpowers that I use more often. Uh, like reframing etc but imagination for me is is really my favorite because I am I can still use more of that uh, last week we were doing 
NLP master training in uh, in Portugal, and we uh, we were speaking about uh, a vision board and how wow. powerful it is to create a vision board for yourself with all kinds of pictures, but not only uh, the right ones that you uh, formulate in a positive way, uh, including pictures, words, etc., but also putting the feeling there. Because if you just have a mood board and you don't have the feeling like I really want it and um, I want it now, uh, nothing's going to happen. You just have a nice uh, uh, vision board. So I would say for me, it's imagination. Yeah, I will go for the superpower that I want to do even more um, and is laughter. Um, I'm, I, um, I like um, fun. But I don't know, sometimes... We need more racial in the office. Yeah, we need more racial. Come, come, woman, come, come every day. day. Make me cry, you know? Make, make me cry on laughter. I really like it. And I, I did um, uh, some laugh yoga uh, in the past. And I, I really like it. But yeah, sometimes, you know, during the day, during a day, sometimes it's easy, uh, or at least for me, sometimes I forget to really cry really loud. And I like these ones that come really from the stomach. Um, and also this idea that um, I heard this uh, also the, the last week and I, we were also there um, someone saying hey some people look at me saying you should not be so happy and uh, and sometimes I must confess that I still um, feel that type of judgment like oh I, maybe I'm laughing too loud or I'm being too happy uh, because yeah we have COVID and we sh should be all f afraid and like I just want to be happy, you know, I just want to bring some sunshine to, mm. to the world. So that is no, the one that I want to do more. Yeah. 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 Good. Beautiful. And we have another question at the moment. We have another question from Helen Blaze Young. What age range is this book written for? Yeah, like I said, uh, I think, of course, I'm not saying that all stories, uh, but I think some of the stories can... I can already see that they will be very useful uh, for for uh, at least uh, teenagers. Um, I will read all the stories to my kids, and I have, we have. I say there's no there's no there's no restrictions 30. there. Yeah, the yeah. way they are they, the stories are written is simple. Yeah. Um, they they have uh, so they, they don't have any strange words there, and they are very personal. Um, so. Yeah, sometimes it's just reading the story and saying, oh, this story, maybe your kid is going through the same. Um, because for instance, one of the stories is, a, one of my stories was when I was uh, from one year old. Uh, so yeah, it's the story about someone that was one year old. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, if it's for kids, I think the book is also in Portuguese and in Dutch. Yeah. Oh yeah, there will be a Portuguese and a Dutch version yeah. coming up in the coming weeks. Yeah, and, uh, and one of the things is that, for instance, I do um, um, NLP for kids, um, and for sure I use the 12 uh, superpowers. Yeah. Uh, so that is what is inside also uh, that training. And the training goes from five years old until 10, and then 11 until 18. So that is what I do with them. Um, so it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty useful for uh, kids as well, of course. Yeah, very cool, yeah. thank you. Let's see, we are done with the questions. Yeah. Very good, I think we're also almost done with the time. Yeah. So I will thank you too for you. Uh, organi organizing this book launch and writing the book in itself, which is a present to the world, from <laughs> my humble uh, view. I will uh, thank all the reviewers here to my left side. <laughs> we have the power of laughter here, Rachel. <laughs> and the power of video, Peter and Anna. And Arthur. Hey. I want I want to say that uh, we have really an amazing team. Uh, these guys prepare everything by themselves. So honestly, before ten minutes before this, I was sleeping. Um, that's true. That's why I how I trust them. So they did everything by themselves. So I, I really want to thank you guys uh, also for that. I have to Any last words? No. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.